I want to have fun, classic Rick and Morty adventures like in the old days. You know, if the creator of your show looks at you like this, something has gone horribly wrong. So there I was watching Inside Job with some lads when suddenly I remembered that other show with the depressed scientist and dumbass sidekick was about to wrap up its newest season. I had completely forgotten about that. I'm not even one of those people that think the show got bad, I just kind of dropped off and said, I'll get back to it later. Now suddenly there's a fair group of people saying they missed season 1 and 2, that they were so much better compared to the rest, and I figured, alright, you know what, let me rewatch the show. Not only to have a fresh perspective by the time season 7 comes along, but to make a video that doesn't involve editing down 10 to 40 hours worth of footage into a 3 to 5 minute video. I'm still gonna do that, but holy shit does that take forever. Anyway. This is rough, but that's kind of to be expected. Not to say that these guys are amateurs at this point in their careers, but with the exception of Community, most of their works are basically just one season shows that don't really go anywhere. Or you know, shouldn't have existed at all, that's also an option, maybe, possibly. They kind of bore their way into your soul after a while, don't they? Add on the fact that this is Adult Swim, where writers and creators are allowed to do basically whatever, for better or worse, and you realize that I'm probably asking way too much of a show that started out like this. Then again, maybe not. Most of these opening episodes are showing off a random sci-fi concept, pointing out how horrific slash stupid those concepts would actually be, and then mixing that with some basic sci-fi plots while pointing out how stupid slash horrific movie concepts are. You're basically watching the equivalent of crude Doctor Who mixed in with a self-righteous online reviewer picking apart movies and TV shows. Yeah, you know what, that's fair. Now is that a bad thing? No, lots of media on and offline have the gimmick of busting the metaphorical nuts of other forms of media. It's been around for decades. But that does mean that a good chunk of the show doesn't really have a lot of substance behind it. Most of it is just relying on random pop culture humor to get through it, like basically every other adult cartoon. So the biggest question to ask is whether it's still funny or not. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that most of season 1 was them finding their footing. Though by the time they get to me seeks in the simulation episode, the writing feels a lot more put together. And then Rick Potion number 9 happens. If I were to be real, there's about 3 or 4 moments in season 1 that got everyone on board with this show. The ending to Rick Potion number 9 is one of those moments. Even today, it's still one of the best endings I've ever seen on TV. Then they immediately followed up with the worst episode of the season, but hey, you know, can't win them all. Thankfully, they get back on track with Rixty Minutes, better known as Interdimensional Cable. It's the funniest episode of the season, it's the best episode of the season, and it brings back some of the deep writing from Rick Potion number 9. Thank God! Though the rest of the season isn't really that notable except for the obvious episode. Otherwise, the most notable stuff that happens is a DMX ending, and set up for the future episodes. Oh, and Rick says a no-no word. Passable, but nothing special. Though definitely a lot better than some of the earlier episodes. Alright, let's talk about the actual finale that isn't just set up for a two-parter. We don't even need to talk about most of the episode. Doofus Rick gets along with Jerry and he eats shit. Wahoo! This ending still hits different. The setup and reveal to Evil Morty had to be some of the best writing this show had all season. It was funny, it was dark, it lined up the reveal perfectly, but still had enough misdirection so you wouldn't get it immediately. It was proof that while some of the writing on the show was still kind of... There was a lot of potential for improvement. I stand by this season being pretty mid overall. Most of the jokes are hit or miss, most of the episodes are hit or miss if I'm honest. But damn, when those certain moments hit, they hit hard. So hard that even 5 seasons later, those moments still send ripple effects across the entire show. If this season was supposed to lay the groundwork for what's to come, then I'd say it was a pretty good opening act. As for everything else... Here's another. I'm the killer! Oh, wow, that one was really quick, wasn't it? I mean, that moment still makes me laugh, but otherwise... 